Thanks for dropping by. In this video, I'm going to show you a clock I made some years ago. It's a little different in two ways. The first is that it uses recycled or repurposed electronics. The second is that it displays an unusual unit of time. Can you guess what it is? First, a quick overview of the clock's construction and design features. The clock consists of two main elements. The recycled display board, which contains five multiplexed seven-segment LED displays, and a custom-made control board. The control board holds a microcontroller and other circuitry that keeps time and generates the display information. I found the display board in a scrap pile and it was destined to become e-waste or possibly worse, landfill. The seven segment displays are really good quality ones since they are easy to read without using a, a red filter and that differentiates better displays from cheaper ones. Sadly, the camera I'm using doesn't do it any justice. For instance, you might notice some flickering which is not visible to the eye and that flickering is a result of the interaction between the camera's electronic shutter speed and the frequency of the display's multiplex switching. For those who might not be aware, multiplexing displays is a method of reducing wiring to a display by switching on only one digit at a time. Slowed down, it looks like this. And so in this way we can use the same seven wires to control the seven segments of all the displays. Once again, at normal switching speed, this flickering is not noticeable at all. The clock only has five digits, and this is owing to the design of the repurposed display board. A digital clock usually has either four digits to display hours and minutes, or six digits in order to display hours, minutes, and seconds. So the question was what to do with this fifth digit? To indicate seconds, we normally need a two-digit counter with a modulus of 60. Now the word modulus, fancy word, it just means the number of counter states. So if we want to count seconds, we have to count from 0 to 59, and that equals 60 states, or modulus 60. However, in my case, I only have the single digit there, and so that has a decimal modulus of 10, so it can display numbers from 0 to 9. So I decided to make this fifth digit display tenths of a minute. So the number increments every six seconds. So this leads us to the big question, what time unit is this digit actually indicating? Could it be decaseconds? Well, not really. A decasecond refers to a time period of 10 seconds. So one decasecond equals 10 seconds. And that's not what this display is showing because it's showing an increment every six seconds. Deci seconds was also a possibility that I thought of, but deci relates to one tenth of something. So a deci second is one tenth of a second or a hundred milliseconds. And again, that's not what this display is showing. So if deci indicates one tenth, and this fifth digit is incrementing 10 times per minute. Each increment is one tenth of a minute, so this display is indicating deci minutes, or one tenth of a minute. Because the display is incrementing every six seconds, we could also call this hexaseconds. So hexa from six, you might be familiar with the term hexadecimal, that relates to base 16. 16 is 10 plus 6, 10 is decimal, hexa is 6, so hexadecimal if you put it around the other way. So this display is actually showing deci minutes or hexaseconds. So for those of you who guessed the right answer, congratulations! So thanks for dropping by today. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Have a terrific day.